Happy Tuesday! It's Penny from the Silver and Fit program. Today we have 30 minutes of yoga. Wonderful, right? So yoga, yoking our mind, body, and spirit. What you need is a nice space to work out. We are going to be utilizing a stable chair today. So if you have a chair, go ahead and pull that out. If you don't, you could do everything either standing or seated. Just make um, on the mat, just make modifications as necessary. So we're gonna go ahead and start in a seated position. I'm gonna get our 30 minutes going here. So you're sitting nice and tall. Your entire bum is on the chair However, your back is away from the back of the chair. Shoulders and hips are lined up. Think of your bottom pressing down as your head reaches up. And right here, palms can be down or up. Just go ahead and plant your feet down, shut your eyes. Just take a second to connect in. Maybe noticing any areas in your body that may have a little more sensation, tightness. Noticing your natural breath, the ebb and flow of your inhale and exhale. And lastly, noticing your energy in your mind. Do you have a lot of thoughts? Do you feel calm? And wherever we're at, we give ourselves permission to be there and to do what we need to do to find just a little more balance. We're going to go ahead and open up the eyes. Let's start with some breath. Fingers reach down. Again, our spine is nice and tall. Inhale up. Reach up to where it's comfortable for your shoulders. Exhale, palms press together to heart center. Let's continue this deep diaphragmatic breath at your perfect pace. Maybe following your fingertips with a very, very soft gaze. We're thinking inhale, expanding. Exhale, grounding, coming in. Two more breaths, all the way into the belly. And one more. take our hands right at our thighs. Let's open up the legs a bit. So again, your bum is all the way on that chair. We're nice and tall. We're going to take a big breath in. And this time as we exhale, we're just going to hinge forward with the spine. And then we're going to inhale up. Exhale, hinging, maybe feel opening through the groin and the inner thighs. And then gently coming up. And you're just coming down to where it feels good for your body, where we feel just a little opening. Head stays above the heart. Let's do that two more times, just that little hinge. Coming up. One last time, hinging. We'll gently come up. Walk the feet in. Feet again, or knees, ankles, and hips are aligned. Hands come by the side of our chair. Starting with the right arm, we're gonna open, expand the chest. Take a look at your right thumb. Hold right there and breathe. Gently come center, reach that arm up, open up that side body. 
bottom is pressing down. We're feeling space between the rib cage and the hips. And that gentle opening. Coming back center, shoulder rolls up and back. Two more, really feel that release of the shoulders coming down from the ears. Shake it out. Nice and tall, let's take the left arm, open it to the back. Take a look towards that left thumb. Again, focus in on that breath, taking that breath all the way into the belly. Gently come center. Reach up. Open up that side body. Soft gaze. Maybe you're finding a spot out in front of you. Gently release down. This time your palms come up. Shoulders are down. Let's just Relax our necks, ear to shoulder. Roll the chin to the chest, pause. And then roll the opposite ear to the shoulder and pause. Let's do some fluid, controlled, just to the front neck circle. It may be nice to shut your eyes here. Just allow yourself to come in and take notice. Fingers reach down as your head pulls up. Now take the hands back to heart center and let's slowly lower all the way back into the chair. Hands by your side. Inhale, open, expand your chest. Come back center. Hands right by your armpit. Now reach up and over. 
Release it. Find your perfect foot, footing. Palms pressed together, we lift up into our chair. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. So it's a hover. Feeling the strength of those legs. And inhale, open the chest. Exhale, hands by heart center. It feels good, reaching up. Energy through our fingers, through our feet. Hold right there. Now very slowly, lower back down into the chair. Up tall. Left arm opens, expand that chest, look over your shoulder. Back center, hand to armpit, reach up. Open up that side body. And gently release. Alternate a shoulder roll up and back. Two more. And release. Palms up. One more round of those neck circles. Ear to shoulder, to the chest. Letting a little bit more go. Things that we don't need to carry. And bring your head back up center. One more round of our chair. So take your feet either hip width or maybe a little wider. Palms press. Come up. Hovering that chair. And palms press to activate the belly. Chest is up. I'm just going to give you that side view one more time. So spine is long, shoulders are soft. Breath is fluid. And expand, open the chest. Hands to heart center. If it feels good, reach it up. Now this time, hands are in heart center. We're gonna come all the way up. Shake it out. Let's move our chair over to the side. And we're gonna come into mountain pose, right in front of that chair. So feet shoulder width, everything engaged like a mountain. Tall, strong, confident, unmoving. Take a big breath in, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's come into our first down dog. Hands are light on that chair. We walk ourselves back, keeping the head above the heart. Keep a nice bend in those knees. Take a lot of length through that back body. Breathe, feeling opening all through the back of your legs hips, in your back, two more breaths, and we're going to walk ourselves in, hands to heart center, right foot is going to step back into a high lunge, so we're on the toe, the hip is pressing forward, we have that chair support if we'd like it. Our front knee is hanging out with those toes. And we're really feeling opening right where we put our hands in our pockets. I'm just gonna hold that. Hands are gonna come to heart center. Now we're gonna take our back foot and we're gonna place it all the way on the ground. We're gonna turn out a little bit for this. Now, we may want to widen our stance. Hips stay directly towards the chair. So we're in warrior one. 
You can come out of that front leg a little bit if you need to, or we can keep it just nice and bent, holding it there. We're feeling that back leg, the entire foot pressed down, shoulders and hips, facing your chair. Palms pressed together. Feel the belly engage. And maybe find that drishti, just a real subtle gaze at something in front of you. Feeling the strength of this warrior one pose. If it feels good, we're gonna reach up. And the hands are gonna come to heart center. We're gonna open into warrior two. So we're gonna be turning shoulders over the hips, the back foot, the toe goes, Straight ahead, we've got that chair right there if we need it. Let's stack everything up. Hands are at heart center. Let's just hold here for a second. Feeling both feet ground, feeling your head reach up. If it feels right, we're gonna reach the arms forward and back. Now we're gonna take a look towards your left finger, so towards your front knee. So we feel the feet grounding, the head reaching up, and then our hands reaching in both directions. Again, a very strong, stable pose. So you need to bring those arms down, bring them down for a second, and then bring them back up. Three more breaths. the hips a bit. Standing, you can keep that support. Take your feet a little wider than your shoulders. Bend your knees. Using your belly, let's do those hip circles. Remember, a nice bend in the knees really helps with this mobility. Which direction? Going the opposite direction. And release. Shake everything out. We're just going to switch sides. I'm going to take my chair over so I can give you a different view. We'll find mountain pose. Nice and tall, and just settle into mountain pose. If you're feeling really confident, really strong, 
Maybe even shut your eyes. When you shut your eyes in mountain pose, you're gonna notice your natural postural sway. Use all those muscles, everything we've been talking about to reduce that sway. Take the hands lightly to the chair and walk back into our down dog for a few breaths. Knees are soft, head is above the heart. Maybe you're able to lengthen out those legs a bit more right now. Just breathe, Just noticing how your body is responding to your practice today. Every day is a little different. Every time we come to our mat, we need different things. Reach up with our back hand and just gently open up that side body. Still 
folding back and opening. You can use that chair if you'd like. And then come center. Again, hand is light on the thigh. We're going to reach up, open up through that side body. We can look up, center, or down. Gently release. Everything's going to cartwheel towards that chair. We're going to come back one more time into that lunge, really opening up the hip flexor. Maybe taking the hands to heart center again. And then gently stepping in, massaging out those feet. And if you don't have your shoes on, you're going to feel all those little muscles in your feet just massaging out, maybe shaking out those hips a little side to side. And then gently release. You can stay behind that chair. We're just going to widen out, bend. Do one more round of the hip circle. Nice and circle slow. Little bend in the knees. Go the opposite direction. everything out. We're going to return back to the chair. I'm going to actually take it to the side so you can see, see from the side where we're going. You can face me though, that's fine. So our bottom's going to come all the way on the chair. And from the side view, you can see that I'm not slumped back, right? I'm up nice and tall, hips, shoulders, and ears aligned. Now we're going to pick a leg, it doesn't matter which one. Lengthen it out, the toe is up. Take a big breath in. And then on your exhale, come forward just to the point where you feel opening all through the back of the leg. This feels wonderful from this level. You can really focus on keeping your chest expanded. Hands can be on the thighs, or we can choose to fly the arms. The thumbs rotate up, fingers reach down, thumbs rotate up, and we squeeze the shoulder blades towards the spine, and then down towards the bottom. Hold right there. Again, finding a drishti, a really soft gaze, a little bit beyond your toe. Hinge up. Bring your fifth back in. Maybe shake out those legs. Nice and tall, palms forward, reach forward. A few deep breaths. Remember, breath, our prana, pranayama, our life force. This is really what this practice is all about is deep, fluid breathing. And then gently come up. Let's do the opposite leg. We lengthen it out. The toe is up. We're really tall, and if we're feeling a lot here, maybe we stay here. We take that big breath in. And then exhale, slight hinge, feeling the whole back of that leg opening. Maybe choosing to support on the thigh or to open and fly those arms. Wherever we're at, hinging back up, coming in, shaking out those legs. 
Now sitting up tall, pick one foot up just a little bit so we can circle out the ankle. Nice circle. Go the opposite direction. Point and flex. And release. Other leg comes up. Give it a little support. Still sitting upright. Rotate out your ankle. Circle. Go the opposite direction. Point and flex. And release. Shake it out. Stay right where you are. I'm just going to turn back towards you. We're going to sit up nice and tall. Rotate out your wrist. Go the opposite direction. Open and close the fingers. Take each finger to the thumb. Now shake out the upper body. Shake out your legs. Hands can come back to the thighs where we started. Palms down or palms up. And just shake everything out. Shut your eyes. Let's do another body scan. Taking notice, if there's any areas that are having a little more sensation. Or just maybe noticing some areas that have softened from the beginning of our practice. Walk yourself back. Just get a little more supported in the chair. And just try to release your entire body. Shake it out, relax. Let the breath come back to normal. We're just gonna spend one minute here taking in all the benefits of our practice. slowly going to bring a little awareness back. Wiggle fingers, toes, or maybe move yourself away from the back of that chair, getting that long spine. Hands come to heart center. Let's take a big breath in. And then maybe even an audible exhale. Two more times. Big breath in. 
maybe even that audible exhale. One more big breath in. Exhale. And we'll end with namaste, which means the light in me respects the light in you. Thank you so much for joining today. Namaste. Take your time, please drink some water and just take in all the wonderful feelings that you created through your yoga practice. Remember, every time we do yoga, we're in a little different space and we need something a little different. You know, and it's not always about the physical. Sometimes it's our breath or our energy or we just need to calm that mind that's gonna be of the most benefit to us. So with that, I hope to see you tomorrow. Wednesday is body weight exercises. Until then, drink water, take care of yourself, and Namas Toad, where is he? Here he is. Namas Toad says Namaste too. <laughs> I love that name, Namas Toad. This is Penny from Silver and Fit. Until tomorrow. Bye.